Toki, bien mi salili pana sona pitoki pona tau. Day 5 la! La is probably the most grammatically complex thing in Toki Pona. I mean, it's not that complex, but when compared to everything else in this minimalist language, it gets that title by default. There's not an easy one-to-one -one English equivalent, so let's jump right into... Toki Pono rule number 5! A la B means B happens when A happens. La is used for a few things. Mainly, it's used to indicate time, to make conditional statements, or for adverbs. Let's go over these uses one at a time. Vocab first, though. Ken means ability, or possible. Lape means sleep, or rest. Tomo means structure. Sona means knowledge, wisdom, skill, or science. Kala means fish, or any other aquatic animal. Cielo means body, state of being, or torso. Kasi means any type of plant. Pini means end, or complete. And Kama means arrive, begin, become, or succeed. Adverbs first. So, usually adverbs work the same way as adjectives, you know, they go after verbs. However, sometimes you want to put an adverb at the beginning of a sentence. In this case, you put the word you want to use as an adverb first, then the word la, then the rest of your sentence. The most useful example of this is the phrase ken la, which means maybe. Here. We haven't done any translations yet today, so translate this. Mi ken la pe. This means, I can sleep. Now, try ken la mi la pe. Ken la means maybe, so ken la mi la pe means maybe I'm sleeping. Last one before I move on, maybe I can sleep. Yep, it's ken la mi ken la pe. Do note that ken la always goes at the beginning of the sentence. Next, let's do conditional statements. A la b can mean if a, then b. That's pretty much it. How might you say, if you slept, then you would have knowledge? It's sina la pela sina yo esona. What about yani limoku la cielo ona lipona? This one means something like, if that person eats, their body will be good. The last use of la we'll go over is for time. Basically, use the word tempo, an adjective describing the time, la, and then the rest of the sentence. For example, tempo ni means now, or the present, tempo kama means later, or the future, and tempo pini means earlier, or the past. Unlike in English, you don't need to specify time in every single sentence in Tokikona, so you should only use la this way if you absolutely need to. Last sentence of the day. Tempo ni la mi ken toki e toki pona lili. This means, now I can speak a little Tokipona. Do the vocab, Mitawa. Yep.